hello there if you want to change your repository to a new repository with your git personal token so assuming your personal token expired and you regenerate another token for a particular repository now what you have to do is you have to change the 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 the, the old the update the old repository to the new one right using the same number the same name so what we are going to do what i'm going to walk you through is i'm going to help you show you how to change the repository using the using the git remote set url so i will change the repository without losing any of the file so let me just walk you through by doing it so what i have here is my directory so what i'll do now is i will check first if i have I, I, i'll check first if where i am in my url so what you do is you check for the version of the url that you're using so what we do is you say git sorry uh I need to you say git remote v. see it will bring out oh sorry i have spelled remote so you can see here that this is the git personal token that i was using before that was that has expired so i want to change it to a new one without losing it file. so this happened because this has expired now i can no longer push when i try to push anything for example let me quickly make a if i try to push anything you see what it will say you seen it it's telling me a password if you try to type anything nothing will work okay so for us to correct this we have to use this method that I want to show you now. So let me walk you through. So you go to your repository, which is where I am now. Then what you do next is you you type in the following key, uh, the following command. So I think I have that on my desktop somewhere here. So you just copy it. You edit it first, then. So, see the out of that place. And this is, so I say git remote set URL, origin. Then this is the new URL I want to send it to. This is the new product uh, personal token that I have that I want to change to. So what I'll do is just, and this is the new URL, this is the URL, complete URL. And this here is the token, this here is the token, okay? Uh, this is the git this is this year is the token this year is my personal uh name on github then this is the directory that i'm working on right now okay so what i do now is uh, enter it and you see we have done then if i try to check the version again you will see it has changed the version uh, well, let me see the, uh, uh, check for my file using LX. You see my files, they are still there. Then if I go back and check if, going back to check if my application is missing, if I refresh, my files are still there intact. There is no problem with my file. So that's how to, if you have any issue with your your password, that's how uh, your product key expired, sorry, your personal token expired, that's what you do. So thank you very much. And I think with this short tutorial, you'll be able to learn one or two things. Thank you.